this, isn't it? Hi everyone, welcome back to Bude. This is part two, starting from the 10th tee. And the first thing we have is a view all the way down to the sea. Um, what hole is this? Oh, it's a little par three. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Well, on these Lynx golf courses where you've got so many blind tee shots, you need this, you need to see how far it is to get over a mound or the, one of these marker posts that you see on top of the mounds. Useful on par threes too. This is typical Lynx golf. I've got a marker post, it's about 100 yards in front of me. If I go left or right, and it goes into the deep rough that you can see that there is on this golf course, then I'll lose my ball. And I won't know where it's gone. So I've got to hit it straight. Firstly, my pull off the tee hit something over there on those mounds and it scooped me across here into the right rough. Now I've just pulled it, I think, into the front left bunker. I know I said I've been driving it well, I threw my right shoulder at that one. So I had a little talk to myself here with a 5 iron from 150. It's a little left of the flag, I, there was a funny bounce so I don't know where it's finished up, we'll find out where we, when, we, when we get there. Too what, English is very hard at times isn't it?
what I thought I had there. Didn't deserve it really. That tee shot was horrible. And then club choice. Probably see the humps and hollows behind me there. I mean, it's bumped around there and ran off the back of the green here. So I didn't really deserve a four. That's better. Back on the 15 foot fade. Should be able to uh, find that in the fairway then, instead of the uh, the humps, the hollows, the grass, the rough, etc, etc. Unless of course there's a bunker over there and I've driven in it. Well you can't see much of this shot. All I can tell you is it's 73 yards. Mm -hmm. It's just left of that number 14. And there is the bunker from Hades. I drop it short. Well, I was digging for potatoes again. It was so far below my feet, I was keen to get down to it, not knife it. But I did hear a thump. Hopefully that was a thump of the green and not the thump of the ball going in the bunker. Well, that's empty. Ooh, a birdie putt. It's always tricky playing a course you don't know, but uh, when you can't see what you don't know, that makes it a little more tricky. See now this kind of shot would drive some people crazy. I got 166, it's very obviously uphill, I can't see anything. The fairway is over there somewhere, um, well, I'm not that far off the fairway, about 10 yards. There's a number 16 on the top of the hill, so as I'm in the right rough then I gotta go to the right of the number 16. I have a clue what's over there and it's all sort of like down of fate and good luck. 
Now, I don't mind that because that's golf, but I'm sure some people would go nuts at this and whine and moan. But, you know, it is what it is. Hit the shop, see where it goes. Right then everyone, I went to the right of this market post with a 5 iron from 166. I hit a little fade. What are we going to see? What are we going to see? We see a ball just off the edge of the green once I've got the zoom right. Right there, final hole. A couple of points before I tee off. Love what they're doing with the cups. Much easier to hold your ball and get it out. We've had every range of weather today. A bit of sunshine, we've had a bit of drizzle. The wind has dropped away. Um, I have no idea where to hit this final tee shot. I'm looking up uh, at the fairway there thinking, well, what I can see of the fairway, thinking, where do I go? But I absolutely love this golf course. It is fantastic and it is great fun. Uh, we've got the wrong wind today. As I say we've got the wind from off the land rather than off the sea. So I can see that this uh, golf course is designed for the wind off the sea. But it's been great fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe for me, please. Help me get over 500 if I'm not already over 500. Give us a like, share it with your mates. You never know, they might enjoy it too. Cheerio!
now for three hours home. Good night.